The Lord decides shepherd I shall not want him make it I like down in a green pasture him lay let I beside still water them him restore it I soul him lay let I that a part of I just not for him name sake yeah though I rasta go walk through the valley of the shadow of death I can't fear no evil for I wrote and I stabbed them comforted I and I who prepared the table before I in the presence of our enemy them who anointed I head with no aisle me cup run it over Shale, goodness and mercy I go follow I all the days of I I Vinny. me I go dwell in the house of the Lord God Ja Karma we gruma be a tila e Higzag beer Tana Istalin Abba shante 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 Karma we gruma be a tila e This is the Black Pot aka Kukushunum Where we speak truth to power Chant a psalm a day and keep the devil away Blessed is that man Blessed is that woman Blessed is that little picnic Who dwelleth in the secret place of the most I jaw there in him I go abide under the shadow of the Almighty, where two centuries meet in the name of the Most High Jah. Ah, that's so Jaja there. If Jaja never watch upon your house, the watchman I go watch it in vain. Same way, if Jaja never build up your house, the builder I go build it in vain. The name of the Lord is a strong tower, and the righteous run into it and them is safe. Many are the afflictions of the righteous, but Jah, Jah, Jah shall deliver him from all of them. How mouse of Bolisa, I don't know what all it was a sickly for. This is the black fort, aka Kukushonemo. And here we speak truth to power. And of course, my name, Black Rastana. In every traditional African home, there is a black pot, and each time this black pot sits on the fire, there is something super sumptuous cooking. Yes, ingredients of so many different types, shapes, and sizes relocate from their corner into the black pot. They are subjected to some amount of heating, and they produce some sumptuousness some nutritious food and this food benefits only the eaters you and i the black pot does not eat the ingredients do not eat but every time they will collaborate selflessly to produce the food that they don't partake in eating but produce for other people to eat think about it selflessness at its best now the black pot is very 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 much associated with black people the continent of africa it represents the continent of africa and the ingredients represent us so every time on the continent of africa we must come to interplay put aside all our differences just like the ingredients in the black pot they are of different colors shapes and sizes aromas and flavors yet they put aside all this and jump into the black pot to produce sumptuousness and good nutrition that's what we have to do. We must not be selfish. Some of us refuse to plant trees because we know we will not live long enough to benefit from the shades and the fruits of these trees. So we prefer to plant tomatoes and onions, which will harvest quickly, eat, sleep, die, and be buried and forgotten quickly. That is not how we should live. We have to live as if we'll be here forever. We have to live as if we were living for each other. And we must actually live for each other. Together we stand and divide and we fall. This is what the show is all about. It's all about the mindset. In fact, if the African mind is right, every other thing will be right. All the T's will be crossed and all the I's will be dotted. This is the Black Pot, a.k.a. Kukushunamu, where we speak truth to power. And my name, Black Rasta, we are supported by Is It. And Is It is I-S-I-T. It simply means in spirit. In truth, connect with family and friends, and of course, promote your business, promote your brand, and enjoy this new social media app. 
Why should you be on exit? It's very simple. If you are tired of social media's negativity, tired of social media's violence, all the nudity, the nakedness, oh, the racism, then this is your app. Jump ships right now. Go on exit. I-S-I-T, where positivity is. It's the world of positivity. Now, is it? It's an app that has been modeled by Ghanaian engineers in America. And the very good thing about is it is that it has powerful algorithms that sap out every negativity out of the app so that you would be able to live in the world of positivity. This is an app you can introduce to your children. It's an app that is most positive. What can you do with is it? You can go live, you can make video and audio calls at the same time, promote your business, promote your brand, and you can also send messages. Download this from App Store and Google Play for free. This is is it. Connect with family and friends, make memories, and you are good to go. I am on is it. Are you on is it too? Join me on is it. This is the Blackport, a.k.a. Kukushunumu, and our numbers are rolling on the screen. We are called Black Empire Media. Pick up the numbers and do business with us. Once we advertise your product on this show, millions of people from across the world see your product, and you are in business. That is why we pride ourselves in the fact that we are the lifeline to your dying line. Remember to also join us on uh, YouTube. And we have our YouTube channel and it's called Black Empire Media. Please subscribe to our channel and then you click on the notification button so that each time we come your way, you will be the first to see us. Time now for action. My name is Black Rasta and our YouTube channel is Black Empire Media, as you can see there. Black Empire Media. Today we have five stories we want to share with you. Number one is rolling up. Watch this. Dan Gote builds $20 billion refinery when Ghana needs less than 20% to survive. One man, Aliko Dan Gote, that's him there. He is building a refinery. In fact, he has built it. And it's cost him $20 billion American dollars to build. The whole country called Ghana needs less than 20% of the 20 billion. How much do we need? 3 billion. And we have been going around begging the IMF and the World Bank, disgracing ourselves, when one man has more than necessary. So you see why the African businesses are not growing? We are not doing business together. If one man, Dan Gote, is building a refinery, has completed one worth 20 billion American dollars. And you need less than 20% of this. And you have to run outside Africa in order to get it that we are in a big crisis in Africa. Run the story. Watch it. 20 billion US dollar Dan Gote refinery would make West Africa stronger. And that's Akufuado talking. President Nana Adodankwa Akufuado has called for collaborative support for the newly commissioned Dangote refinery and petrochemical complex in Lagos, Nigeria. According to him, the success of the 20 billion establishment would ensure that West Africa and Africa as a whole become stronger and prosperous in the oil and gas sector. President Adudankwa Akufuado said this when he joined Nigeria's president Muhammadu Buhari and other African presidents to commission the largest single train oil refinery ever to be established in the world by Nigerian industrialist and businessman Aliko Dangote is the biggest in the world. The biggest refinery in the world is right here in Africa. Oh, what a dream come true. Many were those who told him it was a foolish project. They even called him a foolish man. But today the foolish man has been able to build a refinery that cannot be found anywhere in the world, as contained in this story. He also noted that Africa's lands are abundantly endowed with uh, hydrocarbon resources, which when fully exploited, 
can create prosperity for all on the continent. Africa must find ways of bringing their substantial hydrocarbon resources to uh, production quickly, and we must add value to the resources and not export them in their raw state if Africa is to transition to the status of developed countries, the president said. President Akufuado further advocated for African countries to effectively manage their natural resources as part of efforts to enhance self-dependency and continental development. Leave it there. Bring it back. Bring back that. Bring back that. Watch this. Watch the last paragraph. It says, President Adodankwa further advocated for African countries to effectively manage their natural resources as part of efforts to enhance self-dependency and continental development. Leave it there. So you see, this is a man who preaches virtues and practices vices. As it stands right now, China is coming into this country to take over our mineral resources. As it stands right now, our biggest gold mine, the so-called Anglo Gold Ashanti, now called Ashanti Goldfield, whatever they call it now, we don't have any shares in there, as told to us by the former CEO of that outfit. Today, as it stands, we are not seemingly taking care of our natural resources. We have Galamse baffing us all over in this country. We have citizens who are hard-eared, citizens who do not have any training in patriotism to know that the benefits they are getting right now from illegal mining, in fact, will be worse in the next few years. But they don't care. They are like some of the dunderhead chiefs we have in Ghana. They will sell all the land whilst they are chiefs. They will sell everything before they die. After all, when they die, they will not need food anymore. So they have to eat all the food right now. Not leaving anything for generations yet to come. Yet some of these chiefs are those who are producing children like rabbits. They make babies like cocoons. Yet they don't have any plan for the next generation. Not even the numerous children they are pissing out. It's most unfortunate. This is what Nanado Danko Akufuado is saying. This is a man who is too old to think. This is a man who is always talking virtues, yet he's full of vices. Can you believe that Ghana is number one when it comes to the production and the export of gold? We were called the Gold Coast, not for nothing, because we had so much gold. The white man came here, he had never seen gold like he saw here. Remember the Ghana Empire. Every time I refer to the Ghana Empire, many people think that it's just gainsaying. The Ghana Empire was so rich, it had its gold mines at a place called Bakru. And Bakru, oh Jesus have mercy, was the biggest gold mine in the whole world. Not even China could come to us, not Japan. We taught all these people how to smelt copper and gold. There was not a single poor man in the Ghana Empire. Today, the whole continent, not even the Ghana Empire alone, is bathed in abject poverty. Mr. President says, oh, you know, we have to uh, make sure that we use our natural resources properly to enhance self-dependency and continental development. Self-dependency. You are running to China to beg for money. You are running to the IMF degrading yourself and degrading this nation sometimes i wish there was a button i could press so that the president could be decapitated sometimes i wish there was a button i could press so that all these dirty people in government can just leave and go away because the president is not using his head he doesn't need it if you can't use your head you don't need it it's like the modern day churches you are not taught to think you are taught to behave like a fool you are taught to behave like a buffoon. Oh, wait for God to do for you what God has empowered you to do for yourself. That's how Nana Akufado is thinking. It's a shame. Dan Gote has built the biggest refinery in the world. It cost him 20 billion American dollars. Ghana was crying and going around begging for only 3 billion. 
Dangote alone could have provided that money. And we wouldn't have needed China to come and take over our resources. But no, there's no unity. There's no love. There's no common sense. There's no understanding. So we all are not coming together under one umbrella to be able to benefit from each other. Run the next page. Come in. What is the next story saying? Come in. It says what? And I am confident that an establishment such as the Dangote Refinery and Petrochemical Complex will help us realize this dream as quickly as possible. Ghana has GNPC, right? What is happening there right now? They are struggling to sell out all the oil before the old men die. Dirty old men in power. Crazy, dirty, dying, sickly old men in power. Fire burn them, they will go to hell, all of them. Satan will sodomize them night and day. He will have no mercy on them even if they are crying. He will sodomize them and sodomize them. Sodomize them until they can't take it anymore. That's what I wish for them. I'm so tired of these dirty old men in power. Stinking mouth old men in power. I am so mad, so crazy about them. What is happening? When Kwame Nkrumah built Thor, Tema Oil Refinery, it was the single biggest thing in the whole of West Africa. Today we've made a toy out of it. Urchins and charlatans are running the place and they are tossing the oil around and the money is coming into their pockets. You expect me to come here and give you a bouquet of flowers and talk like a gentleman? No, sir. Like Jesus Christ, where we have to pull out the whip, we'll pull it out. And when we have to talk like gentlemen, we will. Come here! The newly commissioned Dan Gote Refinery and Petrochemical Complex is located in the Lekki area of Lagos State. And Lekki is one of the top class areas in Nigeria. Which has the capacity to process 650,000 barrels of crude oil per day. Nowhere in the world is this that. The refinery is 20% owned by the state. 20% by Nigeria. And is expected to operate at full capacity by 2024. Jesus Christ has mercy. That is to next year. The Nigerian government has only 20%. The rest of the 80% Ali Kodangote is sitting on it like the king of uh, the empire. Kai. The world-class facility is also projected to meet 100% of Nigeria's requirement of all refined products as well as have a surplus for export purposes. This is beautiful. That's the oil refinery. Everything there is new. Everything is still shiny right you can see it but i can tell you one thing this will not benefit nigeria if we continue to have this crop of leaders there dirty corrupt leaders they don't care about the common nigerian they don't care about the common nigerian hustling on the streets of lagos they will steal all this money one dirty nigerian politician is even richer than his own country they have all the money just like that dirty president in Central African Republic. There was also Mobuto Sasaseko Kuku Mbendi was a banger. I know you want to hear it again. Pure African name, yet 100% demonic. Jesus have mercy. I wish he had the name of even those rapists who came here to take over our land. My God, Mobuto Sasaseko Kuku Mbendi was a banger. What a name. Yet Mobuto was richer than his own country, Zaire. Look at what happened in Central African Republic. Look how everybody is just raping off Africa and ripping out Africa. What's the problem with us? Nigeria has this. It's the biggest refinery in the world. You will be shocked that all the proceeds would go into the pockets of dirty politicians and they will not even use that to help Lekki fight pollution and do some other side things. To God be the glory. Come here! Dangote, congratulations. I know you are a capitalist and you also think about your capital most of the time more than the people. 
I believe that one day your mind will change and you will jeer towards the people more. People like Dangote, they are capitalist minded. They are not too concerned about the people. They are more interested in the capital, what they can get. For them, it's all business. The Republican kind of mind in America. At least, you built it in Nigeria. You could have gone to build it in Afghanistan. You could have gone to build it in Taiwan. But you cited it in Nigeria. I give you that credit. And I hope that common sense will come to play. Patriotism would also seep in. And this will do us a certain good. This is the Blackport. A.K.A. Kukushunomo. Where we speak truth to power. Next story. Watch this. I will never resign. You better sack me. And who is saying this? Greedy Freddy Play. If you see his face, you see greed. If you are looking for greed and you meet this man, go home, you have found greed. Very dirty, greedy man. This guy. And we have said it time and again. We don't mean swears. This was the guy whose father was a very powerful Nkrumahist. But because of greed, he ran out of the CPP's tradition and went to join the NPP. Where do you stand? Sometimes I wonder. He's a traditional prostitute. If you are standing by Kwame Nkrumah's beliefs and all of a sudden you become the opposite of Kwame Nkrumah and still trying to talk about Kwame Nkrumah, then I think you are confused. You are suffering from schizophrenia of politics, political schizophrenia. This man here is greedier than Satan. This man, greedier than Lucifer. In fact, when God was creating greed, he looked at this man and created the same thing. Come here! Watch me. Hey! You see, this man here is called Freddie Blay. This was the man who said that politics is so sweet that he will sell his own mother with no sympathy, no empathy, no passion. Sell her out and use the money, the proceeds from the sales to do politics. A man like this in the days of slavery, he'll catch his mother and sell to white people to take away. Because of that, I lost it for him. These were the people who were chiefs in the days of slavery, who caught some of us and sold us as slaves. He's ready to sell eh? his mother because politics is sweeter than a mother. Then Mother's Day, you will see them. Oh, happy Mother's Day. Oh, how I wish, blah, blah. This man said that. We saw how he bought a number of vans and buses for his party. It's all about the party, no more a national agenda. Now, my brother, my sister, remember yesterday we carried a story about this man where he was fingered. That's the story we, we put out yesterday. Petro SA deal is absurd and scandalous. And this is Napo talking to Freddie Blay, saying that this kind of contract that you want to get into is so absurd, it's laughable and scandalous. Every Tom, Dick and Harry will know that we are crooks if we allow this contract to go. Now the man on the far right is called Napo. He is the minister of oil in this country. That's him. He used to be the minister of education. These are the anti nkrumahists all these guys. But even amongst thieves, there are some who have a certain level of loyalty. Amongst murderers, you would find some who are less murderous. Amongst prostitutes, you would find some who are angel prostitutes. Hallelujah. How many people agree with me? Come here! Amongst strong men, there are some that are even weak. Hear me now. Napo finds this contract so nauseous. He says, I can't deal with this. He wrote a letter to the presidency 
telling the presidency to stop this man from the GNPC. That's it. Stopping this man from selling out the oil of Ghana to South Africa, a company called Petro SA. That's it. But the greedy man says he will not stop. He will do it according to reports that we are getting. Hey. And look at what he says. Today, Ghana Web, Petro SA, GMPC deal. I'd rather be fired than to resign. How can a greedy man resign? Freddie Blay, board chairman of the Ghana National Petroleum Corporation, GNPC, has reacted to calls by a group of civil society organizations, CSOs, calling for him to be immediately dismissed by President Nana Adodanko Akufuado. Blay, a former New Patriotic Party chairman, in an interview with CTFM, said he would rather be fired by the appointed authority than to resign. He also confirmed having held talks with President Akufuado over a May 16 stinging letter. Mm -mm -mm. Minister of Energy Matthew Opoku Prempe, aka Napo, wrote in respect of a planned sale of 50% shares of government stake in an oil field to South African firm Petro SA. Jesus. The whole oil field. They want to sell out 50% to a South African company known as Petro SA. And Napo said, no, 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 no. Minister of Oil said, this will not be good. Our enemies will laugh at us. This is absurd. It's scandalous. Next page. Watch out. And what is that is it is happening? When they decided to do this, a group of 29 CSOs on a... Uh, Extractive government governance on May 23rd, 2023, called for the immediate dismissal of Freddie Blake and Chief Justice Officer, Chief Executive Officer of the Corporation Opoku Ahin Ahinye come here. Opoku Ahinye Dankwa. Now the cause came on the back of recent reports and documents indicating GMPC's intention to sell 50% stake in Jubilee. Holdings Limited is the biggest we have in Ghana. We all remember Jubilee, right? That's the Joel. Jubilee Holdings Limited. In a deal with South African oil company Petro SA, despite significant revenue potential, this interest holds for the state. This greedy man says, let's sell it. Let's sell it. They are so greedy. Coordinator for the Economic Governance Platform, Abdul Karim Mohammed, told the press that the persistent involvement of such persons associated with such deals pose significant risks to Ghana's stake and interest in the petroleum sector. We demand the immediate removal of GMPC CEO Opoku Engineer Dankwa and the board chairman Frederick W. Blay from their respective positions as they have become a threat to Ghana's interest in the petroleum sector, he said. This man used to be called Elembele Mugabe. He had stayed in Elembele longer than Methuselah. The people were tired, yet almost every election he found a way of winning until they finally kicked him out. And when they kicked him out, they were able to heave a sigh of relief. My brother, my sister, they want him out. But the man says he will never resign. If anything at all, the president should come forward and sack him. Next page. Let's see what's happening in the next page. That's what it is. Meanwhile, documents in the media have suggested that Freddie Blay, in his capacity as the GMPC board chairman, is said to have written to Petro SA offering it an equal split 50-50 in the interest held by GNPC subsidiary, Jubilee Oil Holdings Limited, Joel. The move has since resulted in a backlash from the CSOs made up of the Africa Center for Energy Policy, ASEP, Center for Democratic Development, CDD, Ghana, the Chamber of Petroleum Consumers, Ghana, COPEC, Imani, Center for Policy and uh, Education, and 25 others. They all came together.
said, this man must be sacked. Elembele Mugabe says, just as he stayed in Elembele and refused to go until the people themselves sacked him, the president must do the same or else he's standing giddy back like the rock of Gibraltar. Such a greedy man. Come here! These are the people collapsing the nation. This could not never be a proper Nkrumahist. It's good that he has moved and jumped ships to a greedy party. Another party that has no respect for the common Ghanaian. Another party that is so anti Nkrumahist. They are all queuing up to roast in hell right after the other. We shall sing a dirty dirge on their graves when they are gone. These are not nationalists. They are terrorists. Dash it away. Don't let me have nightmares looking at that face. Time now to go. When we return, we got more. Hey! Woyo! aka kuku show no more there's no disaster bigger than greed lao chu lao chu if you have been born in ghana we all know which reason region he would have gone to he would have been somewhere eating a plant and fetri dechi or fetri toto he would have been somewhere eating cats lao chu this is the Black Pot, a.k.a. Kukushonomo, where we speak truth to power. Come here. Next story. Remember to do business with us. Our numbers are scrolling on the screens right now. Make sure you do business with us. Ghana turns back on ganja. Ah, Jesus. I am a ganja planter. Call me the ganja farmer. Deep in the eight time I put me ganja. He Babylon come a lick a hot fire. Hey, come and say ganja, 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 ganja. If no one to call it, then call it San Seminia. If no one to call it, then call it the marijuana. If no one to call it, then call it the indica. From a bonnet in a chalice or a sheet of paper. La, come and love me ganja. <laughs> yeah, man, we got the singer man, Malon Asha. Hey, today I woke up to this nightmare. It broke my heart. Watch it. Supreme Court upholds judgment nullifying law that allowed cultivation of weed for medicinal and industrial purposes in Ghana. Ghana, you want to be sick? A law says that marijuana can be cultivated for medicinal and industrial use. Supreme Court says, David, David, that law has been nullified. Supreme Court has by a 5-4 decision affirmed its judgment which struck out law that allowed cultivation of weed in Ghana for medicinal and industrial purposes. Nana Akufuadu wanted it to happen. Nana Akufuadu listened to me, the Ganja president, that marijuana is very important in Ghana. We produce the best marijuana in the world. Go to Nkunya. Go to other places in the Volta region and beyond. We have seen Jamaicans who have gone in the Guinness Book of Records as the hardest marijuana users 
And when they come to Ghana and use Ghana marijuana, they become little puppies. We have the best marijuana in the world. That I can tell you. Better than the Westmoreland ganja. But no. Let's look at the story. Supreme Court insists law on license to grow cannabis in Ghana is unconstitutional. Let's go. The Supreme Court has reiterated its decision that the section of the Narcotic Control Commission Act 2020 Act 1019, which allows for the cultivation of weed, as cannabis in Ghana, is unconstitutional. The Apex Court, in a majority 5-4 decision, indicated that the law was unlawfully passed by Parliament. Majority was made up of Justice Jones Doche, Professor Korte, Mariama Owusu, Professor Henrietta Mensabonsu, and Manuel Kulendi, while Justices Lovelace Johnson, Amadou Tanko, Sabola Siedu, and George Kumsen formed the minority. Justice Doche, presiding judge on the case, indicated that the requirements needed to be met for a party to review its own judgment has not been met. This follows an earlier decision by the Supreme Court in July 2022 to strike out Section 43 of the Narcotics Control Commission Act. The Apex Court held that the section of the act which stated, the minister on the recommendation of the commission may grant a license for the cultivation of cannabis, popularly referred to as we in Ghana, in the Volta region is Bekwi, in the Dagomba land, they call it Vare or Taba. In some parts of Ghana, we have different names for it, like Congo Taba. Some people call it Abonsam Tawa. Some others simply call it Kwansema. Hey, whatever you call it, they say 0.3% THC content on a dry weight basis for industrial purposes for obtaining fiber or seed for medicinal purposes, the license could be granted. But according to the Supreme Court, this violated Article 106 of the 1992 Constitution, which details the processes a bill must go through before it is passed into law by Parliament. And therefore, it was null and void. According to a MyJoy Online report, Private citizen Izuama Manan, who filed the case against the Attorney General, however, argued that the explanatory memorandum that was laid in Parliament did not adequately lay out the policy change that was being brought by the law. Dash. So I truly don't understand. Parliament of Ghana sat on this law. They are supposed to make laws. They made this law. And the law went out, and the Supreme Court came out to say that the Parliament did not pass it properly. Therefore, Parliament should go and think again. So, what is that? I don't get it. Parliament of Ghana sat down. We all remember the furore. We all remember how I was dragged before Parliament for speaking about marijuana. We all remember that the most vociferous person on radio and TV who advocated marijuana production in this country, this person that you see here, we did it from when we didn't even have a single strand of hair here. Today, we are still talking marijuana. So when we heard that it was passed in parliament, we rejoiced. We were happy. All of a sudden, we are told by the Supreme Court and one of them in fact, represented me in court the other day, Yoni Kulende, supported the view that it was illegally passed and therefore it's null and void. Well, they are reading the law, but what is good for Ghana? The president ran all the way to Germany and was begging the German ambassador to go to China and beg the Chinese 
to free us our loans. One of the biggest ways all these nations make money is from marijuana. The Americans are making good money out of it. The Canadians are making so much money out of it. The Germans are making money out of the marijuana. But the idiots that we are, we would rather not plant it in our country. We like to take the scrumps from off the table. The scrumps. Does it make sense to you? You have the land to plant it and get first time benefit from it. No. First hand benefit. No. To get your financial independence. No. Let other people plant it. So that we can now go around and beg them for crumbs from off the table. It hurts me. Now when you go into history and even look at the law that made marijuana illegal, you laugh. It all stemmed from America. Where the CIA came out in a way to try and stop the Caribbean countries from becoming independent. They decided to outlaw marijuana. Because the Caribbean countries had soils that were perfect for the growing of marijuana. So what did they do? They banned marijuana. They went ahead to say and spread the dirty propaganda that when white women use marijuana, they felt sexy and libidinous and they allowed themselves to be violated by black men. Can you believe this? Racism. Oh, weed is illegal. When white women use it, they become so sexy and libidinous and horny and open up for black men to violate them. For that matter, it's illegal. CIA, the FBI, they came together and outlawed it. Can you believe this? If it was outlawed because of these reasons. And we, independent as we are, even these countries who violated us, today have legalized it. And we are still sitting here waiting for Angel Gabriel to come and tell us that, be wise, use your brains, use this. Nah. It hurts me. I'm truly sad. Even the gold that you mine, look how destructive it is to the land. Pollution all over the place. Marijuana rather improves the soil. Marijuana growth will help us to deal with our health problems, our financial issues, and also help us fight pollution. But no, we are a cursed people. We don't want anything good. I can promise you one thing. If I keep talking about this, I'm going to shed tears. Because it's so sad that we are looking at money. We are looking at a better future. Yet we turn our backs to that better future. We are not ready for that better future. All we are interested in is corruption and begging. Look how humiliating it was to get $3 billion from the IMF. We have to lower ourselves to the lowest ebb and behave like Lilliputs. No wonder we have a Lilliputian president. To God be the glory. When we return, more. Hey! Woyo!
Go on, skip a dodge. Blackpot, Coco Shoda, man. This is the Blackpot, aka Coco Shoda, man. Here we speak truth to power. My name is Black Rasta. I love you. Next time, I have the opportunity to come to this world again. And God asks me if I'll come to Ghana. I will ask God. Are you still going to give us another Nana Kufuado? If he says yes, I'll tell him, please don't create me. Come here! Next story. Wicked people. Nana Ado inherited lie DNA from father. Nana Ado inherited lie DNA. It's just in Trono. This is a chief. And he's saying that the lying that Nana Akufuado is going around lying, he inherited it from his father and his uncle. That's the father. They look alike, don't they? That's it. That's the father. Edward Akufuado. He was a ceremonial president. And Bujia was the prime minister. They were kicked out in a coup d'etat because of lies. Today a chief who was alive at the time these people were running the country is speaking. Bring the photo of the chief again. That's him. He's called who? Otunfu. Ahene, 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 Ahene. Ahene nanom hene nana kwami mensa bonsu. I like names that I struggle to pronounce. In fact, they exercise my throat. It's good exercise. JB Dankwa Akufuado's father were corrupt people. Were corrupt. That's Otunfo Ahene nana. Ahene nana. I got it right now. Come here. Kwame Mensa Bonsu has been mound the recognition given to one of the big six, J.B. Dankwa, under the current Nana Ado Dankwa Akufu Ado administration. Kai. Somebody somewhere is saying, Black Rasta Bejubo. Black Rasta Bejubo. Black Rasta Bejubo. Beji, 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 Bejubo. Beji, Beji. Bejubo. Beji, Beji. Beji. How many of us remember when I said that if I were president, I'll crush the statue of J.B. Dankwa? Do we remember? How many of us remember that I said if I were president of this country, I'll crush the statue of Edward Akufuado and all the so-called big whatever? This is what the chief is saying. Did I incite him or instigate him? Common sense is working. Now let's look at what he's saying. Now according to Nana Mensa Bonsu, a sub-chief of Ashanti, Otunfu Asantehini, Otunfu Osetu II, there are more founding fathers of Ghana who deserve applause for Ghana's independence. But all he keeps hearing nowadays is the name of J.B. Dankwa. Speaking to journalists, okay, to chief Africa Mensa, on the for the records program, the Ahene Nanum Hene said J.B. Dankwa and the father of President Nana Ado Dankwa Akufu Ado Edward Akufu Ado did nothing significant for Ghana and accused them of being corrupt. Was J.B. Dankwa part of Ghana? Was J.B. Dankwa ever on it? Did he ever win an election in Ghana? Today, you hear people always talking about J.B. Dankwa. When did he win an election? What did he do for Ghana? He took part in th th three elections, which he never won. In the last elections, which I remember, he got 6,000 votes. If we have someone to be grateful to, it should be Asafwa J. J.B. Dankwa and Akufuado's father were all corrupt. 
all of them, they were all bad people. He said in the tree dialect, HSS, or Muya Nipa Bonnie for Nana Mesa Bosu made these remarks whilst reacting to a statement made by the senior advisor to the president, Yao Osafu Mafu, in 2022, that Asantis did not play any significant role in Ghana's fight for independence. He described Osafu Mafu as a mad person. Just will be our bottom. Sebi Sebi, Juma. Because of the claims he made. Oh, you are. Jakwatabeda view. Monyeko. Come here! Agbeno heavy. Megba fumato. Se wa uwa. Usube tubi. You grow wings and fly. If the bird does not die. Forget about its winglessness. It will grow wings and fly one day. And there's a very popular Nigerian proverb, Chinwa Chibe. Sebi Sebi. It says, if the penis does not die young, it shall eat bearded meat. Hallelujah. 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 <laughs> If the penis does not die young, it shall eat bearded meat. So the bearded meat there, don't show me name. Me tea bida. Hey dear, I'm a vegetarian. Me, I don't. When the weather is cold, every woman is beautiful. The day the monkey is destined to die, all trees in the forest become slippery. When a man is selling his pregnant goat at the market, then there is a problem at home. Hey, when a kiss kisses you, a thief kisses you, count your teeth. Think about it. That's what the chief is saying. That this was a madman. The other ones were corrupt. Nana, who born ye? Nana, piafu, piafu, piafu. Dash and bring me the next one. Last one, right? <laughs> Ghana readies for China colonization. When I started saying, <laughs> yeah. many did not understand why I was doing that. You know that, right? There are a group of people who laugh like that. <laughs> Chinese. They are the new colonizers of Africa. Some people support them. I don't want to incite hatred for no Chinese. But it's our leaders who have stood so low. Look at that cartoon. Come here! He says what? Ghana what? Resources. You see the resources? Mm -hmm. You've given all the resources to them. And then out of the resources, they are giving you the crumbs. And what are the people saying? I say, why are we sitting at the table? <laughs> the little boy said, Mama, please, why are we sitting at the table? And then the guy there, sitting down, says what? We serve them with our resources and collect tips. <laughs> China likely to seize Ghana's mineral and the electricity revenue over default of loans. And that's IMF talking. Those giving you the three billion loan, they were the same people who said, go and negotiate with China and make sure you clear that hurdle before we give you the money. Now, after you have done it, they are announcing to the whole world that this was what you did. Why did they not say it to us before they gave the loan out? Do they mean well for us? The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has disclosed that the Chinese government will likely have access to Ghana's mineral revenue and electricity revenue due to the uh, government of Ghana's failure to honor its loan agreement. According to a news report by My Joy Online, 
the fund indicated that uh, this might happen because the government of Ghana is at risk of not being able to repay for loans it acquired from Chinese government, the Chinese government, which it collateralized with Ghana's mineral resources and electricity sales. Can you understand that? When you go for a loan, you have to give collateral. They went to China. They wanted money from China. China said, what would I get if you are not able to pay? Said, oh, we have mineral. You can come for it. So, oh, but that's not enough. Oh, we also give you our electricity re revenue. China said, okay, take the money. They came and celebrated that with Kenke parties like idiots. Kenke parties. Today, China is here. China <laughs> They want their money back. You want to speak Chi to them. No, when you came, you spoke Chinese to them. Now they are coming for their money. You are speaking Chi to them. The report indicated that Ghana, for the past decade, acquired at least eight collateralized loans from China. For the past how many years? I beg, how many years? Past decade, not 10 years. with different mineral resources as security against default. Different mineral resources. Oh, the first one is gold. Oh, second one, oh, oil. Third one, oh, this. Fourth one, this. Six, and China is patient. It added that as at the end of 2022, collateralized loans amount to 619 million of the 1.9 billion loan agreements Ghana has with China. How much is that? Even the whole thing is 1.9 billion. The Chinese loan alone is 619 million dollars. Dan Gute alone built a refinery costing how much? 20 billion. And somebody's coming to take over your whole country's resources. All because of money that Dan Gute can just spit out. Blah, take. Africa, are we serious? Do we take our independence serious? How old are you? Shame. So you see? Oh, Baumia! Any idiot can rule this country if it's all about borrowing and coming to rule. Baumia, you see? When the fundamentals are weak, the exchange rates shall expose you teachers are suffering nurses are suffering jeff is suffering lencher lencher is suffering stanley is suffering or Hineba is suffering kwame Chia is suffering lencher lencher is also suffering and still Ghanaians will take a cup of rice to vote they are bet right away. Still, some Ghanaians will take 20 Ghana cities and vote for these dirty politicians. Are we human beings or rats? Come here. Are we human beings or rats? Kumutani ni kode ku bera yeni. Nisal no minyanya be inyala jangbar be. Who's that? No, 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 don't go there. I was going to speak French, but I advised myself. Because most of the time, on Wednesday, I, say, I don't speak French. Some people think I can't speak it. Okay, I will speak. Vous êtes des purple, ou bien vous êtes des souris. I have to go and sacrifice something. Because on Wednesdays I don't speak French. Vous êtes de purple. Ou bien de souris. Are you human beings or rats? Dash it away. But the young people are growing. They will grow and meet us. When some of us get slapped in our old age, we should remember it's because of what we did to the generations yet to come. Remember, 
if the penis does not die young, it shall eat what? Bearded meat. My name is Black Rasta. I want to say thank you so much. Remember, we've been supported by Is It. Is It is the number one app, social media app everybody's talking about. Is It is ISIT in spirit, in truth. Hey, it's the most positive social media app. Download it from App Store and Google Play. I am there. Hey, you can do video calls. Oh, also make audio calls. And remember that you can also go online and send messages. Sell your brand. Let your business grow. And you are here. Connect with family and friends and make memories. My name is Black Rasta. I want to say thank you so much. I do appreciate you. Africa, unite. Hey! Woyo! Call me! Call me!